Hey guys, it's Rodney at Rustic Relics. I know you guys are used to seeing Missy after three videos, but today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take you through the store. I'm going to do a Lutz shop, but I'm going to be showing you cool things that I think are awesome that's in the store. We're going to start off here at Mimsy's Nook. That's booth B22 if you're local. It's booth B22. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is she's got some Fire King Meadow casserole dishes. I actually collect these. I actually have both of them, though. So they're going to stay here for sale. They're both $9.95 a piece. If you guys are interested, this is one of those items that we can ship out. Okay, and $9.95 is a good price for these. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you that I think is cool is this Clabber Girl baking powder, ba pa baking powder canister. Now, this thing is old. It's super awesome, though. It's in really good condition. She only wants $18.95 for it. You know, anything that you guys see, you can always message us on Facebook and we can ship it to you. We can get, we can adjust your shipping and tell you how much it'll cost and all that good stuff. So just let us know through Facebook in the comments below, or you can always email us at rustyrelics.com. I really like this stoneware jug. It is $52.95. It's an old one. It's thick. It makes a cool sound when you blow it. So yeah, it's like, woo, woo, woo. it's really cool. I don't know if you can catch that on the mic, though. Another thing that I find neat is this, even though it's got a heart on it, this is made by Pinewood Valley. And this is a really cool piece of pottery. It's small enough to ship. It's small enough to sit on, a, on, on your desk, put some pins in it. You know, all that is cool stuff. It's $9.95. It's got a couple of other stoneware pieces. This is like a vintage mug. Uh, it's $8.95. This one's a little bit newer. It is a, uh, actually, no, this is a vintage RRP. $8.95. That's pretty cool. It's made in, what is that? Ohio? Roseville, Ohio. That's really cool. All right. There's something else I want to show you guys. That's right here. We're going, we're transitioning over to booth B17 because today we're doing three booths. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I want you to know that now. This is a Fenton Opalescent Anniversary Peach Dish. It's got a ruffled edge on it. It's $32.50. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see the opalescent glow, but that's what really sets this piece apart from other pieces. This is a pink candy dish. You don't find a lot of pink, so I think that's really unique. Here we have an Italian vase. It's also pink. I forget who the artist is who actually designed it. Della Bombonera. Again, it's a satin frosted glass pink vase. And it's really, really unique. All right, let's move on to something else that's really, that I think you guys will really like. This, this is really cool, so I'm not going to lie. It's, it's super cool. This is a match to, a match holder, and it is a uh, ski, and it's got the boot. It's even got matches in it. It's got a little uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's that stick that you stick in the ground so you get some you get your leverage. It's nine dollars and fifty cents. I think that's awesome. I actually weigh whether I want to buy it or not constantly. I'm always over here looking at it. I always want to just go ahead and pull the trigger and buy it. This is really cool if you're an Auburn War Eagle fan. This is handmade War Eagle pottery. It was made by Lee, uh, September 2012. It's $22.50. I think that's cool. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in this booth. But I'm just pointing out the stuff that I think is the coolest. Uh, here's a Wade miniature. If you collect Wade miniatures, this one's $4.50. It's an elephant. It's light blue in color. And... Uh, Hold the phone. Missy did not tell me this was in here. Uh, I collect beer steins. Uh, anybody that knows me knows I collect beer steins. I think they look really cool. I specifically like Avon because they have a lot of unique patterns. This one's the Great American Wildlife. I don't have this one. I have I have the polar one. I have one more. I'm missing the savannah with the lion on it, and I'm missing this one. So I know that I'm going to be taking this one home today as long as she doesn't get mad at me for buying it. And it is $22.50. Okay, so that's I'm taking this bad boy home with me. 
So we're going to move on to the next booth. Uh, so let's go. I got to set this on the counter first. All right, guys. We're at booth E68. And there's something in this booth that I think is really awesome. I think you're going to be really interested in seeing it. And that is going to be a daisy churn. Now, this one is a number 40. Okay. She's asking $85 for it. And if you ask me, that's a little too cheap because this thing is in really good condition. Okay. It's got both paddles. They're both there. I mean, look at it. It still goes. It goes and goes and goes. A little bit of oil on them gears. This bad boy will work like nobody's business. I really love it. It's awesome. We sold one of these a while back for uh, $150, and it was a little bit smaller than this one. So this one's a lot. This one's, this is most definitely awesome. Uh, she's got some other cool stuff in here. If you're into primitive stuff, she has got it. And, I mean, she's got everything from, from old pictures to little miniature pots. This is a number two. And that's, I mean, that is awesome. She's got another old jug. Now, this one's missing the handle. This bad boy is only $22, though. This pot that I just mentioned, this it's 22 the number two croc. And the then the pitcher is a brand. It's uh, golly, it's ten ninety nine. It almost looks like it's a McCoy, but it's not. I thought for sure it was gonna be, but it's not. That's still a, oh, that's a really good price for it. Uh, last but not least, uh, she's got some old sifters and. I don't know what it is about old sifters. Missy collects them. She uses them to decorate the kitchen up. Like we have all different size and they're all Bromwells just like this one. And they're just sitting up on the counter, sitting down by the coffee thing. I don't know where she comes up with her awesome ideas for making the kitchen look really cool, but she does. And she uses stuff like this. She'll go from primitive to modern and mix the, she'll blend the styles together. It's really cool. And they're really as long as you have an imagination, using all this stuff in your house's decor is just, it's doable. It's affordable and it really sets, it makes your house feel homely and, and lively to me. Anyways, that's it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification icon so you can get notifications every time we put a new video out. And if you get a chance, check us out on Facebook or check out our website, RusticRelics.com. And thanks, guys, for coming and uh, watching this video with me.